historically, breast cancer initially was thought to be treatable only by surgery. But over the years, it has been shown that we need to treat breast cancer in at least four different ways. We usually have um, surgery as a first line of treatment, and then when the results come back from the lab concerning the specimen, we then proceed to offer um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And then we then send the specimen to further studies where it, it does reset the status, which involves estrogen, progesterone, and HER2 receptors. Now those will tell us whether or not the breast cancer is using the hormones produced by the lady's ovaries to grow. And if that is done, then we can use medication to block the influence of these hormones on cancer um, growing. So therefore, tamoxifen is one of the drugs I use, especially in premenopausal women, to assist the body in fighting breast cancer. In postmenopausal women, we use other parameters, what we call aromatase inhibitors, and these are usually um, aromidex, or letrozole, and those are, are given for at least five years for postmenopausal women. The, the newest um, in intervention is the role of what we call Herceptin. Herceptin is a monoclonal antibody which can block the actual growth of um, cancer cells, especially if they are HER2 positive. And that has been revolutionized the longevity of patients because it is said that patients who start receptive can have a 50% reduction in the death rate of breast cancer. And therefore, and it is said also in studies that third of these patients have a prolonged life if they start receptive early. Health Fund has really been helping our patients to cope with the various costs associated with illnesses. And the receptor status sub subsidy, which they have now introduced, is greatly helping the patients to achieve this information so we can adequately treat the patient. So I must congratulate the National Health Fund for this initiative and hoping that they'll continue to help us to fight this disease so that our patients will benefit. NHL.